Hello and welcome to my channel. The joint Operation 5 banner will be coming soon so this video is here to introduce this banner and suggest whether you should pull on it. First, what exactly is a joint operation banner? When pulling on a joint operation banner, you can only get the operator present in a specific list of operators, for example, there are always four featured six-star operators on the banner and when getting a six-star, it'll be one of the four without fail, simply put, you won't be able to get a rate off on a joint operation banner. The same applies to the featured five stars on the banner. So, is this mechanic a curse or a blessing? I'd say it's a mixture of both. Details are further explained in the video so do stick around. First, let's look at the four featured six stars on this banner. We have Saga, Surtur, Phantom and Schwartz. Saga is a pioneer vanguard who specializes in providing DP with her skills, a strong vanguard who is frequently used in CC stages and does an awesome job in clearing out early trash mobs. Next, we have Surtur, Surtur is, well, Surtur, she is an arts guard and makes most of the bosses look like a joke with her high arts damage and is strong enough to take out even the strongest enemies by herself, one of the broken operators in Arknights. Moving on, we have Phantom, this edgy cat boy is one heck of an executor specialist, he can summon a clone of himself and you can deploy it yourself, he can assassinate enemies quickly and efficiently, a powerful unit to have. Lastly, we have the number one Salon Simp herself, Schwartz is a heavy shooter sniper, she can inflict defense debuff, change her range to a straight line and deal massive bursts of physical damage. The rate of the six stars in this banner are shared equally among them, so they all have a 25% of appearing when getting a 6 star. Moving on to the 5 stars, we have Iris, April, Flint, Beeswax, Air Scarp and Meteorite. Iris is a charge caster and she specializes in putting enemies to sleep and proceeds to murder them, how very thrilling. April is a marksman sniper and she specializes in camouflaging herself, this makes her an awesome sniper to take out the annoying artillery drones, Flint is a brawler guard who specializes in boosting her attack speed and slugging her enemies to death with her physical attacks. Beeswax is a phalanx caster who specializes in tanking enemy ranged attacks as well as stalling enemies with her obelisks. Next is Air Scarp, he is a ranged guard who specializes in increasing his own damage output from the number of operators blocking enemies nearby. Lastly, we have Meteorite, she is an AoE sniper who specializes in launching bursts of AoE physical damage and defense debuff. The rate of getting a specific 5 star on this banner is 100% divided by 6, which gives you 16.7%. So, should you pull on this banner? I'd say it depends based on your account, if you do not have any of the 6 stars on this banner, this banner's value is high and is a great option to consider. However, the more operators you have that are featured in this banner, the lesser the banner's worth becomes, if you have 3 out of the 4 featured 6 stars. It's recommended to skip the banner entirely, the 5 stars on this banner are mediocre, so it is advised to aim for the 6 stars, do note that operator Phantom and Surtur will be debuting in the Gold Surt store later this year so if you are patient, you can save your rundums and get them from the Gold Surt store during their debut, Operator Schwartz is available in recruitment, if you're lucky, you might be able to get her from there. And that is all. Hope this video is helpful in introducing the upcoming Joint Operation 5 banner. I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.